school in dipped slurts and what do you know? There's the box. CEO of Bright House. Today's a very proud and awesome moment. Congrats, first and foremost. Thanks. You provide digitized solutions, and being that the tech world is evolving, it must be quite demanding and keeping you very busy. Yeah, it's an interesting space. You know, as you said, this digital world, or what we also call sometimes the digital economy, is moving so fast. And um, one of the statements we use is that. We don't know where this economy or digital economy is going to go, but at Bright House, we like to think that we'll be the first to find out. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a crazy job. How do you think keeping digitized and people connected with something like this actually improves lives? I think that the digital economy is an opportunity for, for communities and the youth to potentially create jobs for themselves. Um, we're an information-rich society now, but information is also worth something to people. And there's a lot of trends in the, in the world these days, especially in, in, in large corporates, where they're realizing that that information doesn't necessarily have to just be kind of consumed and manipulated inside their organization, but it can also come from outside. And um, so we like to think that if we can enable the communities to be more digitally ready, then there's an opportunity for them to look for all different fields of, of income. Now, there's power in numbers and you've brought on a few partners to actually make this all possible. Yeah, so we started with uh, the Got Game organization who actually built this, this facility. Now, it's all South African product. We never, you know, everything that's built on here is, is South African other than maybe the technology devices. We took an old container. It's got uh, air conditioning. It's got power supplies. Samsung came on board and provided a solar power unit, which is next door. Plus, it has a generator as well, so this thing will never stop running. It's fully locked up as well, so it's got hydraulics. So at night, when this, when it, it locks up, it's it's 100% secure. We also brought on board uh, our partners, SAP, who have helped us with a lot of training. Uh, Microsoft, who have provided us with the software uh, that all of these devices are going to use. This particularly is a youth angled project. Yeah. Why did you decide to get involved with something like this? So what happened was at Bright House, we got involved with a school in Dipslet called Quena Malapa in uh, about five or six years ago. And a lot of the youth there um, became leaders and started sort of sharing ideas with us. And this, this wasn't our idea, it was their idea. And we obviously uh, evolved it and created it into something that we were very interested in. So what we've tried to do is, is we've actually trained some students from the, the school that we supported th three or four years ago. We've, they've become trained in the technology that exists inside this unit, and they will then pass on that teaching to the, to the scholars of the school and also to the community. So it is youth development, absolutely, that's the core, but it's also about community development. It's not just about the, about the youngsters. Love it. Now, you've mentioned Quena Malapa, there's this school. Where to from here and other projects that might take place in Dipsluit? Again, we'll be led by the community. So we didn't sit down and craft a master plan of where we want to go with our CSI spend. We, we're actually being led by the community. So I'm hoping that this now is going to be the, the kind of foundation for something new. And as I said to you right at the beginning, I don't know where this digital world's going, but we want to be the first to find out and these guys are going to help us achieve that. Well, Scott, all the best, and thanks, thanks. for giving the school the edge. <laughs>
be donated by corporate. And something similar to what we have, but what we said is we're gonna bring the latest technology to the fore. We wanna make sure the kids have access to today's technology, something that is relevant for the 21st century. So as you see these tablets, on these tablets, the content that they need to drive in terms of schoolwork and so forth. So not only for the kids, but also for the teachers. So we have different cloud platforms where they can access, but information that is relevant for them. Over and above that, we made sure that we also have a jobs platform because as you know, with youth, unemployment is a problem. So now we're doing micro jobs. Mm. The, the work of the future is for the knowledge worker. It's not for the guy trying to lay a brick necessarily. So our kids can then, offer call center services, receptionist services to big corporates out there from the hub. And that made sense to us. Now, you've mentioned the cloud, but you're pr basically providing a cloud library. Uh, and it's also not only for tech applications, there's some other things happening too. Absolutely. So if you look, to look from a cloud perspective and what a library does, a library is not just there for technology only. So the technology that we do have and what we drive, there's more than 3 million resources on that library. The library content is for everybody, anybody from grade zero all the way through to grade 12 and then beyond that as well. In the library itself, the library has a single user sign on so the kids when they get onto it or young people get onto it, it drives them towards content that they would like to explore. Right? So because we start to profile, we start to see what they want. And if there's anything in terms of career, then we're going to give them the things around the career opportunities that are there. If there's anything in science, they'll get the science information that they need. And this is where we're going with the digital library that is more responsive to your needs instead of the traditional library. Where you go inside this big building, you get a book and beyond that, there's really nothing that it offers. This offers way more. Ah. It offers way more. It's got game, right? It's Absolutely. got game. You've got to have game. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your CETA qualified training courses as well. So right now we've spoken to SAP. And over and above SAP, we have an organization called Mentech. Mentech is accredited to deliver SAP B1 training and other types of training. It's important that if they get an accreditation or a diploma, that it is an accredited diploma. We've also worked with universities, where we've gone to University of Pretoria, we've gone to University of the North, and we're offering teacher training, SACWA approved teacher training. So everything has to have a real value to people instead of the typical, let me get on the Microsoft Word processor and maybe you'll get a job. We're going beyond that. Well, Arthur, enjoy your new playground and got game is certainly got game. <laughs> Lucky Tabita, big moves at the school today. Congrats. Tell us a little bit more about your involvement. Uh, my involvement, it all started in Creighton when I was doing science and pure math. So I was one of the top 10 students which were chosen to go to, to Leadership Academy. Then it, all, the, all the magic happened there. All the emotions were shared, like everything, like, I don't know how to explain this, but I really, really enjoyed that camp and it really opened a lot of door opportunities for me. Sabita, as a youth manager, what is your role going to be and how are you going to contribute? Um, firstly, we'll be helping the teachers in teaching the learners and also we will also be teaching the learners to use the... The unit. Yeah. 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 The unit, <laughs> the tablet and everything and yeah. Lucky, how do you think young people are going to sink their teeth into this facility and really enjoy it on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, they're going to sink their teeth really hard because they will actually be able to um, find jobs in the net create jobs, decrease unemployment in our in our neighborhood, which is Dipslo. Tabita, this is quite a big responsibility. How do you see yourself learning from it and growing from it? Well, um, this is I'm very excited to do this because it's a way of creating a career for myself. This is not about only about giving back to the learners, but then I'm also creating a career for myself. I want to see myself as this successful person, giving back to my community. I, I, um, I have this thing in me that I want to give back to my community. Well, so there you have it. Youth, CSI and corporates coming together to really kick some serious tech butt. Really looking forward to see just how much game they've got.